Hi, lovers of arm wrestling. Once again, back with another update about the matches on the 12th of June. One week away in Istanbul. Uh, so, the first two matches on the card, uh, everything's looking great. Uh, nobody's betting on Zoloev yet, which totally surprised me. We've never seen a 97 kilo Zolev before. I think uh, it's very exciting. Anyways, the next two matches on the card. Tony Katowski. Pride of the WAL. This guy dominated the light class for, for quite a while. 2016, I think he won both hammers. 17, I think he went a bit heavy. So he's a guy who typically does a big cut to cut down to, to pull in the lightweights. I'm not sure about the weight class that they're meeting at, but all the matches that I'm talking about today are right hand. I'm not sure if athletes are pulling right and left, but all the matches that are on the card are right hand. Um, Tony Katowski, I would say... Arguably, because what happened with Sam Harris last time is he didn't make the way in, but he still won. Um, so, is Tony Katowski the number one guy in North America at, you know, 80-ish kilo? I think he is. I think, yes, indeed, Tony Katowski is the number one dude who we can put onto the table from North America to face... The guy who everybody thinks is maybe the number one guy in the world at that weight, Bozidar Siminov. A lot of uh, a lot of talk about this Bulgarian guy. So typical Bulgarian, just sticky in that hook. Um, just all around amazing arm wrestler. Uh, even when this guy's on the red line, he makes amazing decisions. So. Just watch a tiny bit of video of these guys to to get a little bit more. The great Tony Gatowski. Just uh, this, I remember this year, he was just a total wrecking machine. This is the Northern Regionals, uh, filmed by MBK. Look at that. Giannis. Oh, a little bit of rage happening there. I don't know what the call is, but Tony Gatowski is a dangerous dangerous arm wrestler top end hook high hand guy can pretty much go over all right now we got some right oh folding people uh, <laughs> no it didn't move it didn't move mm. and you don't get any better than Giannis you really don't It's very impressive. Very impressive. Tony Katowski is one tough, tough puller from the great United States representing the West in this Istanbul showdown. Right, let's just see this last one and then we'll flip. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. What is that? Foul out? That's it. Scary stuff. Scary stuff. Oh, wait. Let's just watch Cobra. Okay, because Cobra... You always got to watch Cobra if he's on here. Yeah, slip. <laughs> a strap to Tony is a different story, I think, at this point in Cobra's career. Yeah, too much horsepower. Okay. Let's take a look at this kid. I, I picked this match. There's a lot of stuff out there, and I know that this is a lefty match, but this should just tell you something, okay? 80 kilo versus Krazy is like 100, okay? What is that? What is that? Oh, my. Right? Shouldn't be happening. Absolutely should not be happening. Anybody who's pulled Krazy or seen Krazy pull Krazy is one of the best guys in the world, really. 
He's in the top eight. Uh, he's pulled in every high-level match, and this guy, this 80-kilo dude, has totally got him hung up. And I mean, right hand, left hand. I think he's. I think he's good. Oh, jeez, oh, look at that. That wrist is back. Oh, 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 oh my. Okay, so yeah. So that's it, really. We're looking at a world title. That's the way I see it. Super match. I'm so happy that Engen and all the guys involved in this uh, have put this East West challenge together. It's so rare that the best from the East and the best from the West come together and smash. And this is such a great example of exactly what we're talking about. Katowski versus Simeonov. Oh, I'm saying his name wrong. Bolzadam, Bolzadar. Anyways, wow. Uh, I, I, really, I really have no idea. Okay, next match on the card. Uh, on the one side, you couldn't get uh, a bigger superstar than Sarah Backman. If you don't know who Sarah Backman is, well, just type her name down and, and watch never-ending highlight reels. Uh, Sarah has been probably one of the brightest stars in the sport of arm wrestling ever. Uh, started wrestling for Sweden at a young age. Um, right hand, left hand. She's fearless. She can arm wrestle every way you want. Uh, there has been periods in her career when she's kind of backed away from the arm wrestling scene and come back, backed away and come back. A lot of it has to do with she's just been so dominant. Um, I don't know. That's the way I see it. She's kicked so much ass that she kind of didn't feel challenged. A lot of that changed, I guess, two years ago, 2019, when we could all still get together and play, when she faced Gabriela Vasconcelos, the probably world champion at like 80 kilo. Okay, so Gabriela is from Brazil. Sarah got the call about the match for the WA on. I, I don't remember exactly how much time she had to work up, but Sarah was kind of out of it a little bit, got back in and just trained like berserker for like, I don't know, it was a couple months. It wasn't a lot of time. Um, and she came down a lot in weight, I remember. Um, anyways, Sarah ended up getting injured round one with Gabriella. I think she I think she blew her shoulder out, but I'm not sure exactly what happened. Um she had surgeries, she but basically if you follow Sarah, you know, you can see that she has not stopped since then. It's like that lit a fire under her. It brought her back into arm wrestling. Um her left now is completely ridiculous. Uh, and I, so it's been, uh, you know, it's not even two years, uh, since her, since her injury. So I, I doubt she's actually even fully recovered at this point, but I think, I mean, watching her arm wrestle, she looks like she's totally killing it. Uh, I mean, I've seen her arm wrestle a lot of dudes who are really good and be winning. Um, anyway, Sarah is like the top of the pile for, for women's arm wrestling. And she's going up against this young lady, Irina Dryeva. Now, I don't know Irina really well. Uh, just little bits of clips that I've seen. But I do have the scouting report on her. Irina is the best female talent in Georgia. So, right away, I mean, that puts you, you know, and when you say Georgia and arm wrestling, uh, you're dealing with a lot of the best athletes in the sport. So, for her to be the representative from Georgia, right away, puts her on a level. She's young. Um, 
I think she's probably 21 or something. I'm not sure, but she's, I think she's early 20, very early 20s, if, if not still even 20. Um, the, uh, I've, I've heard that she's, because especially she's, she's so young, that she's continued to put on horsepower since uh, she's competed last. So that's that, that puts her in a very interesting place. Now, the one kind of snapshot that I have of her is how she did at uh, the World Championships. I think it was 2019. It might have been 18. But she actually faced Gabriella, which is a similar opponent. And um, she faced her twice. So she she ended up placing second to Gabriella. But she actually had a, a quite a strong showing, all things considered. Anyways, let's let's watch a couple videos. So here's Sarah. It's a long time ago. This is like 2009. Arm wars, deep in a hook, press. <laughs> oh, there we go. That looks pretty deep there. It looks pretty deep. Nice, the girl is a total killer, even at this early age. Okay, so I think she does go on to win this match. Oh, let's go. Tight, tight, tight. Oh, I, I got I got to upgrade my YouTube. I got to do it. <laughs> Let me just skip ahead here a little bit. Get her a little bit more modern. Okay, 2010. So we're still talking about 10 years ago. She's pulling a never off. See the fluidity. Switch from out to in. All the way. Pressing through. Even while in a hook, fight, fight, fight. Got that Swedish ferocity. <laughs> Let's fast forward a bit more because Sarah really has evolved a lot as an arm wrestler. Her and Fia, this 2012, I think that Sarah was still kind of going back and forth to Sweden a little bit more. And at this time, it was when Sarah kind of established herself as, oh wait, that's not Fia, that's Heidi Anderson, sorry. Um, right, so this kind of established her as the best in Sweden, which is a really tough place to be the best. Oh, but I do remember this, and I'm pretty sure that Sarah won. Yeah, managed yeah, to practice here a little bit. Let's fast forward. Heidi, so 2017 WAL, I'm guessing this was the finals. So, long career, a lot of experiences. She's a competitor that's kind of done it all, had injuries, come back from, yeah. Dangerous, dangerous. Anyways, Sarah's pretty famous. Most of you guys, I'm sure, know about her. But this is very interesting, okay? So this young lady on the right here, okay, so this is a couple years old, but there's not a lot out there on her. You see this match with her and Gabriella, who's... And you see, that wrist popped a bit. That wrist popped a little bit. And now, in the straps, and that wrist is bent back. That is a bent back wrist. Elbow, okay. Okay, she got her. But I'm going to say that to do anything with Gabriella is always impressive. It's always impressive. So, yeah, guys, State Kings, we're on there. You see, Ermy's sold out. Matt's just about sold out. Hadzi, nobody's betting on Hadzi. Hutchings sold out. This is the crazy thing right here. So we got the new matches up. And look, we haven't even announced anything. And people are already... People have already got bets on Sarah. So... I'm sure you guys are just as excited as I am. Guys, you'll be able to watch these matches. Um, the um, Matt Ermies match will be on Ermies' YouTube channel. And the rest of the matches will be on... 
Ray, Coach Ray's channel. It'll be on the Voice of Arm Wrestling. So be sure to tune in, guys. I can't wait. We're one week out. It's going to be some amazing arm wrestling. Have a great weekend, everybody.